Okay, uh, hi everyone. It's so, oh, it's so weird to be back so soon considering that the last time like in between two videos was a long time. <laughs> but anyway, today I'm here to react to one of us's comeback, which should have dropped just now, unless I don't have notifications on for their channel. Oops. Um, I'm just refreshing and nothing's happening and it's 11 o'clock. And I'm getting notifications for other stuff, so yeah, I probably don't have notifications on for one us. Anyway, I will just go with them. Yeah, I'm not getting. Ooh, I'm so nervous. My nervous is so tired. I thought it was today. I thought it was today. Was it not today? <gasps> oh, that, that, that was it. That wasn't it. That was lit. Um, where is it? Wait, I thought it was today. I thought there it is. Dear Lord, give me the strength. Okay. Here we go. No, I don't want to know what secret. Mom, please tell me it's because you use natural glow and not a nude beach situation. Great. Great. I need to hear that. Oh, they said royalty. They said royalty. I love the way this sounds. I wasn't expecting it to sound like that. I wasn't expecting it to sound like that, given. He's so pretty. I wasn't expecting this. What is this? Okay, I'm not gonna go back. I'm not gonna go back or stop. I need to I am I oh I missed like five seconds. Wait. If you watch React to the K, you'll know why I'm freaking out so much anyway. I'm gonna keep going. They're changing. It's not even the time signature. I just think they're. I'm gonna, after I finish this, I'm gonna go back and just rewatch some stuff or re-listen. Re-listen is why. This is so interesting. You should be. Oh my god, the point dance, that point dance. 
This song is so interesting. So I keep looking at the camera because I'm getting notifications. It's gonna change again. It's, it's gonna change again. No, the game's shot. Oh no, the, the beeping. If they put that in the actual song, the beeping, I'm gonna die. No, it just went back to normal. What the? <laughs> that was so scary! One last back at it again, jumping off people. It's not done. Okay, now it's done. Um, um, what? I need to go back and listen to it. They changed the time signature, they changed. I'm speechless. I'm literally okay. So I'm not in the mood to edit the video, like the actual video, um, as I skip through the song because this part, what I'm gonna do now, is just strictly so that I can hear when the time signature changes, so I can count the amount of times it changes because it changed so much and I'm okay. Anyway, I'm too lazy to edit all of that. The snap and the guitar. The snap and the guitar, yeah. It's like so moderately bad, I would say. And it's the same tempo. It's the same tempo. I think they just add the. the I don't know what they just added more sound, but it's the same. It completely changed. If you can hear the bass, my air conditioner. If you can hear the bass. Going on in the back. That's like the same kind of bass that they use that in the back. And then, um. Side, like for example, you might hear that in Side Effects by Stray Kids, in Scream by Dreamcatcher, or in Horizon by ATs. They went from like, um, I'm trying to compare it to One Us's own songs to make this easier. They you went from like, a, from a Valkyrie kind of sound to, to a, oh! Okay, sorry. They went from a Valkyrie sound to a sound that belongs more to that subgenre of EDM. The one with the where they use the bass riff. Da, 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 yeah. And they change it again. They change it again. I've had point dance, but we're not gonna talk about that yet because I need to talk about the music first. This is so I realized I didn't even move into center to center myself after because I'm just that astonished. Um, um, what what was I gonna say? Uh, I haven't heard this sort of music, this sort of like swiftly changing styles within the same song. I haven't heard it from any other artist currently. Maybe besides Stray Kids. This reminds me of you know that song. Okay, Stray Kids and that one song by TXT, uh, Eternally, off of their newest album how the style changes or 
basically the musical techniques they're using changes in the the instruments or the sounds that they use in production changes so swiftly within the song. I'm sure there's actually a technical term for that if you like if I said I can't even speak correctly. Like as I said, if you watch React to the K, I'm sure there's gonna be some I'm pretty sure they're gonna say what I'm saying, but like in a smarter way and they're gonna use technical terms. Because you don't hear this kind of music in K-pop. Save for like Stray Kids and that song Eternally by TXT. You know how um, it changes the beat drops suddenly, like just out of nowhere. It's this. This did that. To be or not to be one less. They just did that. And it took me so much by surprise. Oh my god. I'm literally gonna start crying. Um, let's see, let me think of a Stray Kids song. No. What I meant to say is that. This is really brave. Who produced this? Who produced this? It's an insane! Who produced this? If you know who produced this, comment. Because... The heck. I'm willing to bet you that whoever produced this also produced Eternally by TXT. I'm willing to bet you right now. I'm willing to bet all of you guys right now that whoever produced this helped to produce Eternally by TXT because... Uh, I don't know music good. I don't know music well enough to be able to explain to you what I mean. But if you listen to Eternally, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. The way that they, the way that they change the instruments they were using throughout the song in order to set different tones. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. I need to shut up. Okay, I'm um, just kidding. I can't shut up. I'm reacting. Okay, okay. Um, like I said in my a song written easily. Uh, a reaction video. One Us does a lot. I actually just um, did the 10 seconds back, skipped me, and I came upon an actual really good example of this. And hopefully, I don't accidentally turn off my iPad when I try to screenshot. I found a really good example of exactly what I'm gonna talk about, and by that I mean uh, they do really well with the, a lot of formation based choreography. So I'll put the screenshot I took right here of Ido and then <laughs> sorry I just saw Xion oh, in the back and he's just like <laughs> <laughs> sorry but like that's what happens when you just randomly screenshot anyway they do really well with all that really formation based stuff but but after they come out of like that formation that crazy formation where their hands are like interconnected and someone is in the middle of them and then they do they do the level change to make that look even extra even more impressive as soon as they come out of that they put in a really impressive point dance and i think um that that's just so good if you can if you can put in an impressive choreography with the members like technical understanding of like of their formation base of their own style and then you add this new fresh style like what they just did with this point dance like that's just rounding it all out that's so impressive i am i'm so i don't want to say impressed because i've been already been impressed by one us for so long so i guess i can just say that's so incredible the song and dance is just incredible this you hit the beat the or the quarter notes. Um, that's kind of what you might hear in, it, again, inside of X by Stray Kids or Scream by Jim Catcher or Horizon by ATs. That same beat, but then I know in pretty much all the songs they they, they, they do they put in the <laughs> I can't speak. Um, they put in the like in Scream the 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 devil eyes come those extra beats. This did not do that, and I was like, good, because it, the way it started off, like, more chill, with a more chill sound, like how they had for Valkyrie, I love how they put that in with this newer, like, stronger EDM, again, I'm sure there's this, what is the name of the actual, dubstep, I'm just gonna call it dubstep, even though I know there's a more technical term for that subgenre. <laughs> uh, I love how they put in the, just the quarter notes. Just the chord notes, but then in the back you hear the like the bass electric. Pretty sure it's just the bass, or like an elect an electric bass maybe. I don't know if it's an electric guitar or, or an electric ba electric bass. I can't really tell because it's kind of muffled. They kind of um, they muffled it. 
but instead of putting, I think, in the 16th notes, instead of putting the 16th notes aloud, like how they have it in side effects and um, Scream and <laughs> Horizon, they made it muffled. And I think that, that was so perfect because I feel like for one of us, I feel like not to say they don't fit that kind of music, but you know what I mean? If you picture side effects, if you picture Scream, you can't really picture one of us doing that sort of music. Like, not that they can't, like, I would love to see them do it, but it just it didn't fit their concepts that, that they've done before. So I, uh, <laughs> I know I said this about um, Boca, but I love, they're leaning away from what they usually do a lot. This is a lot far from what they usually do. But at the same time, they still have that chill, like, I'm not gonna go completely crazy yet. But at the same time, I'm gonna shock you, and that's what this just did. Like, oh my god. Okay, um, <laughs> I was so shook by the music that I never even stopped to look at the members, except in the very beginning. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you know. Okay, I, um, I meant to comment on Fanung's hair. I really like it, but I, I can just tell dead hair. Oh, I'm sorry. It's hair. Also, they use the same uh, coming location as Elevator and Mayday. Mayday? Mayday, they like that. <sighs> I know I said I would stop talking about the music itself, but the way that they utilize the sound effects. The, the gunshot just then, and then if they utilize the beeping, the flat mining noise, I will die. Not uh, that, not pun not intended. Oh, they're so beautiful. I can't even see handsome because that's not the vibe I get. They're beautiful in this. Like, I'm not even kidding with you guys. And their storytelling. Oh my god. Ever since they released that trailer in the middle, that 16 minute trailer, <laughs> before they did the finale for Road to Kingdom, in which they released Come Back Home. Um, ever since they did, they released that trailer, they've been doing the storyline so well. And I'm so proud of that because. That's what they deserve is a good storyline and some good lore to go along with it or it's the same same difference but you know what i mean <laughs> you know it's shirtless and the way they brought in the guns at the end i was like what am i looking upon what are my eyes seeing i was like that kind of jolted me out of the fantasy i just got really quiet because is that the point? Because before this, everything they've been using, like the set pieces, even the clothes, uh, yeah, everything really just screamed like fantasy. Especially in the beginning where I said, oh, they said royalty, like that, that scene, that set was so royalty and it really set the stage for this to be a, like a fantastical kind of music video. And like that just when they're leaning on leaning on the golden like pipe thingy majiggies, um, like definitely fantasy. It get very like uh like darker fantasy elements from that. Um when Ido's holding up that golden sun pendant thingy, very um mystical. Still dark fantasy but mystical at the same time. Uh and then when 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 Huang Lung is in, was in the crown of was wearing in the thorny forest, I'm like very fantasy, right? And then they brought a gun and they were like, I'm gonna shoot you and I'm like what the f and I was like and I just thought, is that symbolic? Because they're all in this fantasy world, right? It's fantastical, it's just fantasy and all of a sudden modern modern things like guns and these men in uniforms and it's like that's so out of place. I'm actually looking I almost spilled my water. Oh, but I'm actually whoa with this. Oh my god, the filmmaking geek in me is crying. This shot is so pretty. I'm gonna screenshot it. Oh, that shot is so pretty. Oh, they said symmetry anyway, and it's so jarring. It's literally so jarring 
to look at this almost even just to look at this is so like like what is this i feel like that's symbolic of i don't know what it's symbolic of but maybe it's like wake up a kind of like wake up from your fantasy kind of thing one us just i don't know what they did i think they just made a statement but i don't know what statement they did <gasps> okay anyway choreography wise i'm gonna give that like a, a 30 out of 10 because they not only said we're gonna do what we're good at and we're gonna slay it but they also said we're gonna do and we're gonna have an amazing point dance and we're gonna show you how well we can all dance individually and they killed it individual so 30 out of 10 for one us to be or not to be choreography and i i need to see the dance for this i need to see the dance for this i need to see the dance for this i need to okay anyway i mean the full one i mean anyway um song wise i'm gonna give this why did i stop to think about it i'm gonna give this like 100 out of 10 because like i said you don't see this sort of thing in k-pop where they oh my god i now now to just wait for the for the channel the classical musician to react to this song i'm just gonna be waiting patiently for it because i need to hear what those what those um people say um yes i mean anyway 100 out of 10 as always if you want to talk about this song just as, just as much as i want to talk about as you can tell with this long video, uh, feel free to drop a comment about anything. If you're smarter than me in music and you know that term, any of the terms I was trying to get at, just please comment that, comment them because I'm, I don't know. If you want to talk about the set pieces, about the statement they could have been trying to make, about about anything, just comment and I just want to talk to y'all about this because holy frick. Okay, anyway. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because um, I realized I didn't say this in my last video, but I, it's because I put it in the description box. Um, I am planning on not only uh, releasing more of these reaction videos, especially with MCND's comeback coming tomorrow, but I'm also going to be trying to do unboxing videos because there's some albums I want to get my hands on, which kind of sucks because uh, my local K-pop store probably won't get them, uh, which are Songu's solo album and then uh, spin-off by On and Off. <laughs> We're probably not gonna get them, and that makes me sad. But I do have a Seventeen album coming in, so I'll probably do an unboxing of that. So stay tuned, and like I said, hit that notification bell. Okay, thank you guys so much for enjoying and watching this weird, crazy video. <laughs> Bye.